You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello everyone, Yaga here. Welcome to Yaga Rambles. And it's exactly that. It's just going to be me rambling. <laughs> My thoughts, uh, stuff like that, you know, no no gimmicks, no sound effects, things like that, just uh, just me. And kind of like what's on my mind. So I'm going to see how it goes. Hopefully this is the first of many. Uh, I guess you can consider it podcast, if you will. Sure. Anyway. So I, I'm kind of having a little bit of that Christmas blues where it, it just, it, it doesn't feel like Christmas. I mean, I don't know if it's because the weather around here has been like, it's been like 60 degrees and like raining a lot instead of snowing. So it's, it, it's kind of weird weather here for, I, I live in Illinois, so it's weird. You know, normally we've, it's bitter cold and we've got 10 feet of fucking snow on the ground and I'm not censoring this talking, no censoring on this shit. I, you know, the only reason I censor stuff on my channel, cause sometimes I think when you throw the, the bleep in there, when you're swearing, sometimes that sound effect, I, I just believe is funnier than uh, saying the actual word, you know what I mean? But fuck that, I'm swearing on here. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I don't know, man. Like I, I've had this kind of like I, around Thanksgiving, I was totally into Christmas. Like I, like at Thanksgiving, I was more into Christmas then than I am now. And here we are, you know, a week and a half away from it. So I, I don't know what it is. I mean, like this last year, I've been doing a lot of changing my perception, you know, like the way I look at, uh, everything in life and, uh, oh, 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 a fucking cat coming in. Y you're such an asshole. My cat just, he likes to open the door cause he's a son of a bitch. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. I had to shut the door cause my cat's a dick. So anyway, yeah, I, I, I don't feel so much in the, like, I feel in the Christmas spirit, but yet, I, it, 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 for some reason this year, it has a different meaning, maybe it's because this last year, I've really been working on myself, trying to be a better person, and what does that mean, I, I just changed the way I look at things, I, I'm more open-minded today, um, I'm more accepting of others, you know, um, uh, motherfuck, you know, uh, note to self, if, if you're gonna do, a podcast or talking to something make sure you, your phone's on silent god damn it here we are not even a text message it's just a fucking wwe notification i gotta turn that shit off <laughs> real quick you know i i kind of go in and out of watching wrestling these days i i i used to watch the the attitude era i was really big on you know and Stone Cold, Degeneration X, The Undertaker, Mankind, all those guys. Like, that era was fucking phenomenal. Uh, probably the best era in wrestling to date. And, I mean, I, I kind of got back into it, like, about four years ago. Started watching it again. Now I just kind of come in and, in and out as it goes. But, uh, I don't know. You know, it's hit or miss sometimes with the WWE. You know, it's got its great moments. You got the old-timers that are fading out, you know, like Undertaker's leaving, and I always loved him, he's probably, probably my favorite wrestler's definitely The Undertaker, but, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, that, whatever, <laughs> fucking, um, yeah, I don't know, wrestling's cool, that, I just wanted to mention that, that, like, it just changes, uh, I stopped watching it for a good 10 years when they did that whole transition era, uh, you know, in the early 2000s when WCW came in, and, they were all meshed together and all that crazy invasion, whatever crap they were talking about and did. Woo! Anyway, back to Christmas. So, it, you know, the, uh, Christmas blues, man, I don't know. I, I just, like I, I, like I said, I'm trying to be more accepting of others, and it's hard. You know, it's really hard. Because <laughs> you realize uh, it's not other people that necessarily bother you it might be just yourself and things you see in other people that you, you know you're working on yourself that you're trying to uh you know just overcome and be better at and so I, i've learned this this last year has been i've been trying to be really more accepting of others and let me tell you when you let go and just stop trying to control every little situation in your life there's like this fucking elephant off your back and you can just start being happy and actually enjoy things. Cause there was a while, man, I, you know, I was in a rut. I, I didn't enjoy anything. Um, cause I realized I was fixed, fix managing and 
trying to control every little thing in my life. And if I didn't get my way, my expectations were just, you know, all over the place. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I just, when you let go, it, things just flow better. You're less stressed. The anxiety's not there. Uh, you're able to focus more, get more shit accomplished than you ever were before, you know what I mean? Uh, it's really neat, man. I, I'm grateful for that, and I'm grateful for that I have the ability to be aware of you know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong and acknowledge something if I'm wrong. Because that was... I used to be, I'm pretty fucking stubborn, and I never used to admit if I was wrong, but you know, I'm, I'm working on it, people. It's a work in progress here. <laughs> mm, so, I don't know. So, see, like I said, if you watch my videos, you know, I, I, I love Christmas, and people who know me personally know that I, I get really nutty and really goofy around the holidays. I love the decorations, you know, I put, uh, 1300 lights on my Christmas tree, six foot Christmas tree, real tree of course, don't get that fake shit, I don't like any of that, gotta have that fresh pine smell, it's only once a year, it's worth the money, <laughs> but uh, you know, I love putting up the decorations, uh, just, you know, what, you know, like what is Christmas to you, Christmas to me was like, when I was growing up, man, we, our, my family was huge, I had tons of aunts and uncles, <clears throat> excuse me, cousins, you know, and uh, going over to my grandma's house when I was a kid was just a huge event. And, you know, all my cousins were all within, like, five years of age. So you got a whole group of kids just playing with each other, uh, you know, being kids. And then the adults were off, you know, fucking drinking. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe maybe just in my family. I don't know. Maybe there was, I'm sure other families, you know have that problem <laughs> but uh, you know still the holidays were big to me man and I tried to carry that on as I got older and as I got older um I realized like you know people you know Chris, Christmas is supposed to be birth of Jesus whatever I don't even look at it like that I I'm, I'm into the decorations I I feel I like the atmosphere the aura that Christmas brings it's like a certain peace serenity and joy that you wish you could feel the whole year round. I'm not talking about like the Christmas music and lights and shit. I'm just talking about the the, the atmosphere, the air, like the you know, the little bit of nicer. Everybody's a little kinder, a little bit more accepting of others. You know, like you know, for example, like you know, I wait tables, so you, people are a little bit more generous to tip because for whatever reason it's the holidays. You're like, oh, it's Christmas, let's, let's tip a little bit more than you would, and. If you had that kind of mindset your entire year, I mean, I think the world would be better. And, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You're not getting in now, cat. I blocked the door so he couldn't get in. He's going to get pissed and start meowing. Oh, well. You knew what this was. <laughs> Shut. Ah, fuck it. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. But, it, but let's be honest. Christmas now is, it, it, you know... With the with the fucking with the uh, retail stores and buying shit, you know it's it's so crazy. Like I, I'm not even in the mood to buy Christmas gifts for people this year, and most people know that. I mean, I'm 31. I'm a grown man. I'm an adult. Like, and most of the people, you know, I don't, there's no kids in my life, you know. So it, it it's just adults. So it's like we, everybody kind of just buys what they want and so on and so forth like i i don't care if i get anything for christmas nor do I, I don't even have any joy buying christmas gifts i mean i do a little bit and like giving people some stuff but yeah damn it so i don't know i just i don't god damn it cat hold on a second ah oh, all right i'm back that damn cat could be a pain in my ass and i know so many people are like why the fuck do you have a cat and you know what i used to hate cats i'm not gonna lie i i had a dog 28 years of my life, I always had a dog, and um, don't get, I love dogs, dogs are amazing, the dogs I had in my life were the fucking best dogs you could possibly ever have, and I got this cat four years ago, and the story goes is I was I was walking, I was at PetSmart at the time with the, this girl I was dating at the time, and she was getting something for her cats, so I walked past the fucking, the cat bin, you know, we were all sitting in there looking all, you know, the way they get you. They're all adorable and whatever. And I see this cat. He's a Russian blue. If you don't know what a Russian blue is, look it up. They're fucking badass. And he's just sitting there with this badass just stance. 
looking at me. And I'm like, that's a badass cat. Next thing you know, I'm in there playing with the cat, filling out adoption papers, and I bring home a cat. <laughs> uh, but uh, that cat got along. He got, he got along with my poor dog, Snowy, who we had to put down about three years ago. She was with us for 14 years. That dog was great. It was awesome. And now I have this cat. But he is like a dog in a cat's body. He is like the most chill cat you're ever going to get like see. Like he greets me when I'm at the door, you know. Just gives me a little headbutt, like, what's up? But then he's like, I'm going to give you your space. <laughs> I mean, you know, and he's not too, he doesn't make any noise. Like, dogs are barking and shit. He's just like, hey, what's up? I'm going to go over here and lay down. Like, I don't give a fuck. So if you don't like cats, go fuck yourself. I love my cat. If you're a cat lover, he's an awesome cat. Russian Blues, check him out. So, uh, yeah, man, but back to Christmas, man. Uh, it's just so crazy how you see these people going out. I mean, Black Friday's nuts, you know. It's not really even Black Friday now. When it starts, it starts into Thanksgiving. But you see people just shopping for shit. And it's like, I don't get it, man. I don't get why you just don't buy that stuff throughout the year. I just, if I want a TV in June, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to wait till December. I mean, I don't know. And it's just me. It's just my opinion. I find it nuts. And, you know, this is me. Christmas is... You know, a lot of kids stuff, you know, with the Santa Claus and presents. I mean, it's like Christmas is, uh, like, for kids a lot. But it depends on how you take it as an adult. Presents and stuff and Santa Claus for the kids, you know, like, Oh, be good, Santa's coming to town. If you're not good. You know, what do you think about Santa, too? that song creepy? Santa Claus is coming to town. You know, when you, As a kid, you didn't get it. You're like, oh, I better be good. But then as an adult, you're like, he sees me when I'm sleeping. This motherfucker. <laughs> fucking creeping month is he gonna try to rape me in my sleep you know do do i need a chastity belt <laughs> i mean come on it is a little weird it's a little weird as you get older but um oh whoo uh that's what i got i just wanted to ramble on about the holidays and uh i hope by next week when christmas hits it finally hits me you know maybe i need to plug in christmas vacation that's my favorite christmas movie of all time man all time, love that movie because that was that was pretty similar to how my holidays were when I was a kid growing up. We had a big family like that, just like that movie, and everybody's fucking squawking away, and kids are fighting, and you know grandparents going at it. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna keep this first episode short. I guess it's kind of short, but. Um, you know, if you like what you hear, man, I'm going to try to keep doing this. I just want to put my thoughts down, you know, because sometimes I feel like I'm always trying to create, like, this special video when I do my YouTube channel and everything, but now sometimes I just got to talk. I, I feel a great key that we always miss is people that, if we, like, it's just talk a little bit. You feel if you just talk, <laughs> you know, everything, everything kind of just happens and plays out for you. I don't know. Call me crazy. Call me what you will, guys. All right, this is Yaga. I'm out on Yaga's rambles. Yaga rambles, whatever. I haven't really... I've, Yaga rambles, we'll just fucking call it that. I haven't finalized the name yet. Uh, and we'll keep it coming, man. I'd like to get some people on here, have some debates. You know, what a... Oh, God, excuse me. I had too much coffee. So let me know what you think, guys. Let me know if you want to hear me, my thoughts and opinions on anything, anything you want me to talk about, and I'll be happy to record uh, an episode and we'll see how this goes. Fuck yeah. Merry Christmas. I said Merry Christmas. I don't give a fuck.